avoidance can sometimes be the best course of action, the best plan. And during an SHTF event, you know, a, a large disaster, especially a regional disaster, uh, the last thing you want to do is to get injured. You know, so t prevention of injuries should be at the top of the list because you may not have any access to doctors or uh, maybe a dentist. Uh, maybe there's no facilities around. Maybe there's utter destruction. Maybe you're in a, a path of a, of a hurricane or a tornado. And maybe you just got hit by a massive region-wide earthquake. Uh, maybe there were wildfires and everything's burnt down to the ground. Uh, whatever it is, it's really important to keep your health at the highest level possible. And one thing you can do, it's a very simple thing, is to avoid certain types of things in your mouth, uh, certain foods. And it's not that these or all of these foods are bad for you. Uh, some of them probably aren't the best, but uh, it's just, you know, something to kind of be aware of that you just don't want to increase the chances of having any damage to your teeth and gums. And so you'd want to avoid popcorn. Uh, popcorn uh, sometimes doesn't really pop all the way, if you know what I mean. And the holes can sometimes uh, uh, be intact, at least in part. And you can crunch down on some of those, and it's almost no different than chomping down on a rock. And so the dentist in my area have told me numerous times, just try to avoid eating popcorn uh, just because uh, they see so many people with cracked teeth, chipped teeth, uh, uh, teeth that split down the middle. Um, they, they've seen it all. Uh, the next is hard candy. I think that should be pretty obvious. Uh, it's really rough on your teeth, uh, but also certain types of hard candy can stick to your teeth. And if you have odor, um, you know, fillings or crowns on your teeth, they can actually, according to my dentist, was saying that they can actually pull those fillings and crowns out. Uh, so that's no good either. So you want to be careful with the hard candy. And just as hard candy can be difficult um, on your teeth, ice is too. You don't want to sit there and just chomp on ice cubes all day. That's, that's not good. Um, also, uh, nuts. Uh, not all nuts, though, are really hard. Um, like, for example, walnuts, they're, they're not that difficult to eat, especially if you roast them um, or, you know, you, you prepare them in some way. They typically you get even softer. Uh, but almonds, almonds can be very difficult uh, to chew and crunch. And um, I don't personally have a major problem with them because I have good teeth. But uh, there's a lot of people that have had problems, and my, my dentist said that they've seen quite a few people over the years uh, with uh, teeth damage because of almonds. So uh, if you have other nuts uh, that are, you know, more dense, uh, you might want to just kind of be aware of, the, you know, of consumption uh, during an, an SHTF event. Also, it's really good to have a little a backup emergency dental kit that may have like dental cement and uh, some type of of uh, various types of uh, options to go to for uh, pain if you have uh, injury to the gum. Uh, they have different type topical type of creams, uh, or I should say more like gels <clears throat> that you can use uh, to help, um, you know, relieve some of the pain if you have injured a tooth or a gum area. So just something to consider. But uh, this is a, a proper quick tip. Hopefully this helps uh, just to kind of give you some things to think about. Thanks for watching.